Sacrifice is a part of any journey. Taking on these great challenges against great odds. That's what makes us human. For All Mankind is an alternate history of the space race. When we come back into season two, it's almost 10 years later. It's 1983, both sides expand on their moon bases, and the competition between the two superpowers has also gotten much more intense. We're coming into an alternate history of the new 1980s. The social change is more rapid. The development of technology goes much quicker. No more gas stations. We get 60 miles on a single charge. We have electric cars, we have cell phones. Because the Russians land on the moon first, NASA is not defunded, and it pushes us further into technology in a competitive way. This is Jamestown Actual. Enjoy the show, everyone. In space, Jamestown has expanded drastically. There's up to 30 astronauts on the moon at any given time. It's a really exciting leap forward in season two. Let me state as plainly as I can, the greatest threat the United States faces is posed by the Soviet Union. There's rising tensions between the superpowers. The Cold War, rather than cooling off, it's the exact opposite. It becomes about ownership of the moon by militarizing the moon to try and stake a claim. The president wants us to confront the Soviets on the moon. They're going to need weapons, right? We see the military presence and how that affects life on the moon. We need to send a message to the Soviets. But there's got to be another way. Recommend go to DEF CON 3. Season 2 is everything you loved about Season 1, taken a step further. Bringing the Cold War conflict to the moon, it's a big part of Season 2. It will be quite a shock and surprise. Follow emergency power protocols, scram the nuclear reactors. Copy. It was just an exquisitely executed show about human beings in extreme situations. Once we do this thing, there's no going back. History has asked much of the Americans of our time. Much more we must be prepared to give.